Hello and welcome back to the tutorial brought to you by Mac Productions. I'm Hamid and today I'll be showing you how to reinstall your Windows Media Player. Uh, this should help you resolve many of the issues uh, related with uh, Windows Media Player, Media Center, and etc. Uh, so just before we get started, don't forget to visit my channel and you can leave requests on my channel if you just leave a comment. And this video was requested by this user right here. You can also check out some of my other videos. Now, let's go ahead and get started and fix this problem. We're going to start by clicking on the Start button and clicking on Control Panel. And in the search box, type in Feature. Click on Turn Windows Features on or off. And you want to expand Media Features and untick Media Center. Click Yes. And untick Media Player. After doing that, go ahead and click OK and it'll go ahead and apply the changes. After the changes have been made, you can either go ahead and restart your computer or you can restart later. I'm going to click on restart later for now and just go ahead and close all this. Now from here you can continue to do your work and restart when you prefer because uh, I hardly restart my laptop myself. Or you can go ahead and restart. Now the best option would be to restart and I think you should restart straight away when you're applying these changes. So let's go ahead and restart and it will apply the changes we've made. Now if you're wondering how I've got that background as my shutdown, as my logon screen, well there's a tutorial for that and the link is right here on the top right hand corner. You can click that and find out how to make your own customized logon screen. I'm just going to skip until it restarts, so um, just bear with me. After you restart it will configure the Windows features again. When it's logged in, just go ahead and click on start. Oh, it's going to be a little bit slow now. Videos. Sample videos. We will click on while or any video. Just want to open up any video really. And it says it couldn't open the file, which is good news, I'd say. Um, so we've confirmed that it's been removed. So now we go click on control panel and repeat the same process again. Feature, turn windows feature on and off, media features, drop down, turn this on, click OK, and wait for it to apply changes again. After it's done, it should just disappear itself, or it might just have to restart depending on what you did. Let's go ahead and double click on this video again. And it should start playing again. Yep, there we go. Well, that's good. Uh, and that's how to reinstall your uh, Windows Media Player. If somehow after applying the changes, it doesn't the Windows Media Player doesn't work, just go ahead and restart your computer and it should start working. Other than that, don't forget to subscribe, comment, and rate my videos, and you can leave some requests for the new tutorial in the comment down below or on my channel. I'm Mohammed from Mac Productions. And I'll see you guys in the next tutorial.